Welcome to my channel. I feel like I haven't said this in like forever. Literally, it's been almost a month. Oh gosh. So, I'll try this again. Hi guys, and welcome to my channel. Today's video is a very special video to me because I thought, you know, it's Women's Month. Hasn't been a very successful Women's Month in South A. Ah, but I want to do something obviously not typical, but still keeping up with my style and my channel and how I do things. So I thought I should invite uh, a powerhouse. You know. Who is that? <laughs> where is she? What job? Where? Where? Where, where is she? Is she a, coming soon? A powerhouse in an industry that I love, an industry that I've been a part of, an industry that she's also a part of, and she's doing really, really well. So, guys, please welcome to my channel the beautiful ah. Andy. So Andy, let's start. First things first, you just came back from doing a show. Yes. Actually. Tell us which station, what time, how does it feel being the queen of brunch? Brunch band. <laughs> <laughs> so my show is on 947. That's what you're referring to, 947. Um, 9 We see you. We see you guys. <laughs> also, we're available on all channels like 07.0.0. We're channel 879 on DSTV. Oh, so, you gosh. actually don't have an excuse. It plug. It plug life. <laughs> 9 to 12 a.m. And it's really just such an amazing, amazing time because people want company because you're also True. there during the work day and your sole purpose is to keep people yeah. or to give people accompaniment as they're in their jobs with them. They like them, yeah. or don't like them. You're just there to be that friend that, hey, we're gonna I'm get through this. Don't worry I'm about it. I know you hate your boss and your colleagues and everybody and this job, but you need it because you need money and pay rent, but we're gonna get through it. Yeah. Kind of you know? Yeah. So people probably think I'm biased because everyone I've had on the couch is actually from the Houston Cape. So except for Os Pagas, Pagas from the Western Cape, but his family is from Gramstown, which is in the Eastern Cape. And so are you. <laughs> you are from East London, but then yes. you came from Cape Town. So you yeah. just moved from Cape Town. Let's talk about your time in East London. How for how long were you there for? And then when did you move to Stellenbosch? Okay, so I was actually originally born in the Transca is Lalin. And then I moved there. Hey, oh, which people it's literally me. <laughs> Very village inside. Um, <laughs> and then I moved to East London, I think, for school. So I started with grade R. So from 6 to 18, that's me in East London. So okay. I went to literally same school for grade R, primary school, high school. That was me. And then I moved to Stellenbosch for varsity. Okay. And I was there for, so from 2010 to 2016. So it's six years okay. in Stellenbosch. And then I moved officially to Cape Town. 2015-2016. Okay, so in yeah. Stellenbosch, what did you study? Did you study radio? I didn't. Funny enough, I did not. No one is studying radio. I know. But yet, nah, but that's look at this us. is the problem with the industry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Am I here to get dragged? <laughs> well, all right then. I, I was a dream. <laughs> so I didn't actually study radio, but I was studying BSc um, in human life sciences okay. with psychology. And then in my first year, my sister was giving me a tour of the place. We went to visit all of the places. And then we're like, hey, there's a radio station. And then they happened to have application forms. I'm like, hey, I know my name. I know my name. I'm a lady. Just fill it in. And then I got called for an interview. And then literally the rest was history. Yeah. And for me, I didn't take it seriously, especially undergrad honors, because I was like, I'm here to actually get a degree. Yeah. So yeah, I'll do you. that one show a week just for fun, just to have something to do. And then... Once I started doing my master's, toughest year of my life, I was like, I actually don't want to study this. So, at master's level, you, yeah. I mean, you had all this time to figure out that I this know. is not what you wanted. I know. But what made you then choose radio? Because you could have just said, I don't want to study master's, mm. it's done, but I probably want to do something, I don't know, in international relations. Yeah. Or, what made you say, okay, cool, this is, radio is actually where my heart is? Money. Hey. <laughs> I know I'm not Good supposed shame. to say that I'm really not supposed but I like that honest response because can I tell you what there's a misconception mm. obviously because people see that I don't know people in the media industry are struggling mm. and they don't have money and all that but radio actually has money yeah I mean also if radio is just a platform and that can grow the seed of other things yeah from that you know I mean I wasn't getting paid a lot at yeah. that point my um 
uh, bursary wasn't paying out, so they were like, sis, Bye. figure it out. I was like, okay, so I have rent, I have things to pay. Yeah. And then at the campus radio station, if you do Monday to Friday, they pay you a little stipend or whatever. Okay. And I was like, I want money, so I'm gonna apply. For I'll, I'll push for Monday to you Friday know? slot. I can, I can, okay, was nice. I got three hours in my day to do that, so I did that. And then it literally just bit off. So I did night shift, which is 1 to 4 a.m., imagine. Um, Monday to Friday. And in a month of doing that, I got picked up at KFM, which is like the big station that side. Mm -hmm. And then that's when I was like, oh, wait, there's really money here. Okay. 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 You okay. know? And I'm like, I mean, that's why you only drink champagne. Hi. Hey. No, literally, she only drinks <laughs> champagne. So now you are on KFM, you have a master's, uh, you know, that's lingering. lingering. It's really lingering. there, but it's not there. Any point because of radio, did you feel like, actually, maybe I should go back and do master's? Um, yeah, many points. Because also, this industry is so. Like the climate changes year on year out because I was at KFM for three years yeah. and the station changed like every single year in terms of the identity of it because they're very very particular in terms of fine tuning mm -hmm. getting the mm -hmm. audience and uh, penetrating you know at the right touch point so yeah. like a lot of changes were made some slight some not so you need to figure out who are you in and amongst these changes Am I ever representing myself in these changes? And I was mm. like, it's actually a lot of work. A lot of it work is. because you need to fine tune each and every single link. If you're like me, you're OCD, which means it really is prepped. It's also a lot of pressure. Because you think, oh. will I make it to the next radio yes. year? Or will I not? Mm. <laughs> it's just one of those things. Yeah, it's a tough business. It's a really, really tough business. So I was like, ah, oh, I, should, I should just get stability and get a degree. And I was like, before should... you guys break my heart. I will break yours and so I'll just maybe you know, consider, you know, I'll step out. I'm good. <laughs> I don't need you guys to fire me. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> I've had a lot of fun. Thank you for the coins. Yeah. Go back to this degree that, you yeah, know. Let's talk about the, the big uh, shift. Ooh. The uprooting Child. of what you would, you know, say is your normal life. Funny mm. though, because I feel like I spoke it into existence. For like um, a while okay because i remember when i first moved to to cape town from stellenbosch i was intentional i was like i'm not gonna buy a fridge for this apartment because okay. i'm moving to joburg and i would say okay. it all the time so okay. i didn't buy a fridge because i'm moving to joburg i don't want to move with a lot of things so in my head i knew i'm That's moving amazing. to joburg i'm going to get a job in joburg i want to work at nine four seven or at another station and it's going to happen cool Year one passes, I still don't have a fridge. I'm like, okay, so God, um, we need to talk. We, we had a plan. You know what I mean? Plan. Like, like, um, um, so I said, you're big. So, so why am I still here? You know? Year two comes <laughs> and my friend is like, sis, uh, this thing is not cute. I'm going to give you my own fridge. So I was like, cool. I'm not going to buy a fridge. Give me your fridge. Cool, cool, cool. Year two passes, still nothing. Yeah, three comes in Cape Town, and then I'm like, I'm feeling anxious. Okay. And also, sometimes you just feel, I don't know, for me, I just felt completely aloof in the sense that I just felt like I don't belong anymore. I don't know my purpose. And I remember mm. I'd sp mm. spoken to my manager, I was like, you know what, actually, because we were doing reviews of contracts and they were wanting to give me a two year contract, I was like, actually, you know what, Let, just give me a one year contract because at this point, Whatever happens after this, I, even if nothing happens, even if no offer comes, I'll go home to Eastern Cape, live my life, mm. you know. But right now, I feel like I'm tired. I, I, I like actually Le, Le Point to Enza because I think also there's a misconception about people who do jobs that they love. Mm. I mean, you loved radio since you were on campus radio mm. and now you're on a commercial platform. But sometimes there is that point where you feel like you need a reset button. Yeah, I got a phone call. That was like, sis, pack your bags. I was like, say no more. Cool. Done. <laughs> you know? And I think it also, it probably intercepted at the perfect, oh, absolutely. At the perfect time. 100%. Because there's a point where in Clambi, you feel like you're going to the edge. Mm. And you're really like praying for divine intervention. Like, yeah. Listen, I'm exercising. I'm trying. I'm eating well. Mm. I'm getting sleeping tablets. But still, something is just not connecting yeah. with me. So I think that phone call probably came in at that time. You were just like... Now I had the road in the towel. I was like, God, thank you for this experience. This was amazing. I love radio, but I love it enough to tap out. 
and just live because this this is this is not it. Did you have people that you could share what your frustrations were at that time mm. who probably did not judge you for being ungrateful mm. because you are because you have a job because yeah. you're getting money because you have you know you're exposed to a certain number of people that mm. other people don't have. Did you ever feel like maybe if I share this with my friend Utembi, Utembi will be like, girl, uh-uh. So I'd rather not share it. Yeah. No, I had a lot of, especially with radio colleagues as well. Mm. They're like, sis, you're working. What else? You I, know. I know I am, but... You know? Go ahead, be yeah. Team. No, I had several conversations with my, with my sister who's like, my confidant. She was like, at the end of the day, mental health counts the most. Mm. And that's what, what our priority is. Because mm. if you're happy, that's what matters. Whatever happiness looks like, we're in kind of thing but then it just happened so happened that you know there was a daytime slot open in johannesburg and i was like you have got to be joking like after that phone call ended i'm like wow i literally screamed i was in, in my flat alone and i was like no you're kidding me no 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 it's like no, that no. could i let me go will smith uh pursuit of happiness when mm. he just gets to <gasps> yes. and then he was like oh like, Probably people around him didn't know what was going on. Right. They were just walking up and down. But he's like, oh my yes. goodness, that's the relief and that I needed. Mm. Like, I'm, I'm mm. so I'm sure now yeah. so I'm going to be like, oh my God. You know, I've been visualizing it for so long and then you just like lose sight of the vision because of the circumstances yeah. here. Yeah. And then for it to happen without any of your input except for you just choosing yourself. It was just like, Okay, God, hi. It. All right, okay, you just showing off. Cool, cool, cool. All right. So now, pew, touchdown. You are in Johannesburg, <laughs> a place where everyone wants to go because yeah. it's you know it's glitzy, it's glamorous, mm. it's city of gold. The typical is fast paced. It's what, what, it's what, what. <laughs> what was the most exciting part after you moved? Mm. When you got here, you like, okay, this is actually better than what I had envisioned in my mm. mind. Um. Oh gosh, I think it's just the people who are a lot more friendlier a lot more open okay and i think we're all in the same pool in that we're trying to make it kind of thing mm, mm. so yes it's, it's very competitive but also there's a lot of people who just in being in the same social setting of, as them that can turn into a job or yeah. a gig or for me that is more exciting because I, I used to go to events so much in cape town and i'm like why 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 am i here why am i doing this you know what i mean like it's cute for the optics like great view great pictures great Insta instagram pics. you know what i mean but then it would never <laughs> amount to anything because okay. people don't actually speak to you and if they do they only go to the person that they know is a big name and then they'll schmooze with them whereas here i can come in i mean if i was doing that night time or whatever it still holds the same value kind of mm, thing so they okay. value the station name so even if i'm if i were to be like night, during night time or even a 1 a.m slot they still value it by that. the and virtual if I walk the fact in a room, that you're on nine four exactly. seven they're gonna give you that respect exactly so if i walk in a room as a 1 a.m what's the name host i'll still get the recognition of the, hey yeah hi how are you thank you so much for coming mm. meet so and so meet so and so so that like for me was very different like why 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 am i greeting all these people why they want to say hi to me? Okay, uh, we're gonna go straight into that. You're that big name, mm. nine four seven. You know, Johannesburg's favorite station. With every change and stepping into a new environment, mm. I don't know if that's if it's the same for you, but I get, I get triggered and I step into I re I reverse into a place of where my insecurities you know pop mm. up like mushrooms. Mm. Now, for someone who is from Cape Town. Um, you are in Johannesburg and you're at a station with so many big names. Yeah. You know, we were mentioning yes. before we started shooting, there's your, you know, your Greg and Luckies, there's Anilim Dorda, oh, there's the, the entire breakfast crew, mm. there is Uzweli and Manzwe, yep. all these people I am are just fresh. And MVP now, DJ Fresh has just joined. Boo, 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 boo. <laughs> How how was it for you and what kind of insecurities creeped up if mm. you had any or what kind of affirmations did you get yeah. from that period of stepping into an environment where these are like veterans in the mm. industry? Mm. Um, okay, so for me, I made sure that I had buffers because I know, I know when it comes to a big moment, my initial reaction is to just shrink, sit in the corner 
okay. then watch the moment happen and be like, I was I was there, but you know, you yeah, wouldn't. You guys don't have to see me. You know what I mean? So yeah, it's like, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. So one of those buffers for me was therapy, and I'm still going okay. because that's my lifeline. Second buffer, I have the most amazing, amazing manager, um, Grant Nash, station manager or program manager. Yeah. So he sat down with me and was like, okay, so who is Andy? Let's play to Andy's strengths. Even if it's a weakness, let's make that a strength mm, as well. Mm. So whoever Andy is, that must show up on the show. Because you're this new character, there's a blank canvas. Which True. means you can write the narrative as to who is Andy. Who does, who does the Joe Burgers get to meet every single day or go to work with every single day? Yeah. So it was a, a thing of, yes, you're not Anene, yes, you're not Rish, yes, not Greg, and like, yes, you're not Ayande, but who is Andy? Mm. Play to the difference as to, okay, so you're not a DJ, you're not the girl in the club, play to that, that you're not that. Because not everyone is that who's exactly listening. Exactly that. Mm. So it was like, mm. it was a very different perspective. And I remember, and I remember each and every single time I come out of a meeting with, with Grant, I just feel so like lighter and just inspired yeah. and that's just true. full, man. The sense of just like, okay, I'm different and that's okay. And that, that's what makes me me. And that is my selling point. Yeah. And not that that's what shrinks me kind of. So for me, it's, that was that. And I mean, insecurities, yes, because I'm like, I am a nobody. I have 1,600 followers on Instagram. Please follow me. Please. Like, like I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, I actually <laughs> was gonna get to it's that disgusting. point, actually, so we might as well get into it. I personally got a shock when I joined a digital radio station because mm. I did not understand the impact of social media Dude. and the impact of things like Twitter, Instagram, mm. and Facebook on the quality. Of work or the yeah. measure of impact that I should have mm. on an audience mm. so you'd find that everything is about how many retweets does that post have yep. how many comments does it have a lot of pressure. what is the reach did you check the statistics okay cool Ooh. let's get on Instagram how many followers do you have how many people are liking your how many people are liking your page and for some people it doesn't wow. it does not matter but because the industry is changing mm. and there's so much that is evolving it also determines what slot you get on air, you know, for for some people, yeah. it also determines if you get a job again. Are you feeling that in the space that you're in, or is it something that comes to you? Not necessarily mm. that you're getting pressure from, you know, from Grant saying, "I need you to be on five thousand followers." Mm. No, Grant is very uninterested. But sometimes like, that used to happen to me, uh -huh. like, you know, and, and it wasn't even in a malicious way, but they would be like, mm -mm. Uh, you know, yeah, especially when I started working, you know, on online radio, they'd be like, ah, yeah, yeah, you know, let's try and get your followers up a bit. And I'm thinking to myself, what more do you want me to do? Also, what do you do? Because I'm also at the point of like, yeah. do I need, I don't know what, I, I don't have much to show off, so... And it's different because Tina, growing up, the, uh, a radio personality was someone who was a mystery to us. Exactly. The only thing that you fell in love with was the voice. Yeah. So, I remember, I think I in trouble mm. when they used to bring out that yearly calendar. Would, yes, I, that's when you would see them. Oh, sure, that's like, so true. I would, oh, yes, I, I own it. Okay. I, oh okay, my so gosh. Oh my goodness, mama, come on, ask. So you didn't know those yeah. people. So now I felt like we have to get into a character of putting ourselves out there mm. to be noticed. But most of the time, the radio presenters are actually shy. Yeah. So I'm now you have to be. To I'm the girl. <laughs> I'm the, <laughs> on the instant. I want to be the girl at home. Yeah. But do you, you know? Yeah. So do you feel that type of pressure of being in, that the industry is changing and you're not mm. probably you're not necessarily looking at being on radio for the rest of your life. Exactly. There's probably other things you want to do. Yeah. And how are you dealing with that? If you're dealing at all, or is mm. it something that you're like, I I'll, I I want to later this because I don't have time to be curating content. I mean, I do feel a lot of pressure just in that. For me, I know that the social media aspect. Um, can breed other jobs, other gigs, yeah. and a lot of I'm um, I'm sure there's a lot of companies or whatever they've looked. They're like, oh, we want an MC for an event. Let's get mm. Andy. Oh, let's check your Instagram. Okay, never mind. Thank you. Ha ha. It ha. sucks. Yeah, that part sucks. So that's for me. That's my main concern. I'm like, with these coins that are just curving me. That's my stress because I like money. And also because I mean, I'm, I'm with big names with big numbers. And my thing is, what if what if it now happens that there's a person who has big numbers and who's equally as talented? It's like they're the obvious choice, mm -hmm. you know? So I'm like, mm -hmm. I can't fall short on this part because as much as I may protest that, okay, Instagram followers don't matter, they do matter. Mm -hmm. And I need okay. to play to the tune, but also just be authentically me. So I'm trying to figure out the balance between okay. that I, I get what and you're figure saying. that out. But 
I'm working on it, but please follow me at Andy Mac Morgan. I think. So. But I want to, of course, I did mention earlier that this is Women's Month, a very tragic Women's Month that is being for, you know, South Africa. There's nothing much to celebrate. Um, but there was a conversation that I wanted to touch on because we are women that have mm. that are or have been in the media space and in radio, um, with the whole shift and change of you know, shifting presenters to different stations without getting too much detail. Mm. There was a, a topic that was brought up on Twitter that does the South African audience appreciate the, the impact and the contribution of females in radio? Mm. Or are we just the, you know, the sweet, you know, the, mm. the sweet voice? So do you think that it's been an advantage for you, especially having, being the anchor of your own show mm. and there's no one else to kind of mingle with M mingle with yeah. and 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 mess up your flow mm. and you know what is your stance about women in radio especially considering that when mm. people talk about radio veterans they only mention the men and there's nothing wrong with that i mean they've done that's actually very true they've, about they've that, done a lot actually. when people talk about radio veterans in south africa they talk about dj fresh people touch dj spoo gareth cliff robert marawa didn't think about that more flavor they there's seldom any mention mm. of females but we have Anele doing, you know, a, a big slot, a breakfast show, we've got Tando Tamete doing a drive show. Mm. Like, what is, is it us? Are we not doing enough? Mm. Is it the audience? Are they not receptive of us? Do we have to beg <sighs> them to I pay think, attention? <laughs> you know, I think it's the same thing as in any job. You know, if you're a woman, you need to work two times harder than the man. If yeah. you're a black woman, you need to work four times harder than everybody else, basically. So it's not that we're not there, it's just that it's the industry makers who curate us and package us in certain very stereotypical ways. Yeah, yeah. But very, I think very slightly we're moving away from the stereotypical um, notion of what it is to be a black woman in this industry, yeah. in this climate. So I think we're slowly getting to uh, an industry level where women can be anchors and are actually heading up major flagship shows um the fact that even on night for seven we've got three black women back to back anela myself ayanda then there's fresh like for what me when time. i realized that i was like wait a minute hold the what a time the phone you know what a time so like we're getting there slowly but surely we're getting there and i think there's going to be a time where two three years time there's going to be black women literally hitting up other drive shows, um, uh, breakfast shows, daytime shows on each and every single station. But also think, you know what, uh, if you're a female going into this industry, don't ask for space, take it. Like if they say, hey, he has a slot, you're going to be with Smang Mang and this is your role. Be like, sure, 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 sure. Great. Sure, sure, sure. And then you go on air. Watch me flourish. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> just go. <laughs> and also don't be afraid to pitch things. Like. As much as I'm preaching to the choir, because I should be preaching. Oh, okay. Okay. Dude, that's... Really? You need to like if you think. Listen, I'm the best news reader, so like I need you to see this vision. So just pitch, be like, hey, um, so I'm seeing the stats for the show. It ain't, it ain't working. So here I am. I'm working. So it's so crazy. There, it's know? so crazy. I will. I actually read a tweet where people were saying, guys, when you talk about shooting your shot, we're not just saying shoot your shot to someone that mm. you really like. Try shooting a career shot. Yeah. Like just send. You know, send someone an email mm. and, you know, give someone a phone call. Drop them a text, don't yeah. like, text them on WhatsApp, especially if they don't know you. And what's, <laughs> and what's next for you? Outside of radio, what is mm. it that you really want to get into the new year pushing hard? Mm. I think for me, it's just really building the Andy brand. I hate that word because it's such a... You know what? I used to hate it until a couple of weeks ago when I realized that... I love it mm. by seeing what it has done for other people. Like people will say they are Very brands, true. treat themselves like brands, Come on. and then they get the brand money. Come on. I mean, Jay-Z said, I'm not a businessman. I am a business man. So I want to build the Andy brand. All right, Andy, again, your social media handles yes. that I will put in the description box. Okay, so Twitter, it's Andy underscore Marco. And then Instagram and Facebook, Andy Marco. So I have a page page and then my personal one go to the page between our eight brands near page page we get to like let's just you like know. the page and then you'll see everything yeah. about them and follow their life well that brings us to the end Aww. of my women's month special i hope i'm gonna have this up by the 
end of the month, which is in a couple Girl, of days, which is very, st- which is very stressful because <laughs> I have to edit like ASAP. But yes, it brings us to the end of it and probably the end of the sit down series that I've been having on my channel. Um, I am trying to drum up another one, and I'm hoping that the people I want to talk to will reciprocate the energy and they want to talk to me back. Speaking so of let's cross fingers. But again, we've got more content coming through fashion lifestyle and entertainment so see you guys in my next video bye